Alright, welcome back YouTube to our Call of Duty World War II veteran walkthrough mission number one. So, if you are new to this, you know, I just want to, you know, clarify that this is what I do and this is what works for me. And I hope it works for you. And uh, I do die a lot, so don't think that, you know, this is just something that's going to be pretty simple. Uh, if anything, it, it, it is a little harder due to the fact that, you know, there's health packs now. But other than that, let's get started. So, the beginning right here. What I like to do is I, li I like to go to this tank over here. As you can see, I'm not getting shot. And then after that, I follow Pearson that this way, okay? So I'm basically going left, right, to left, to right. And then at this point, we're going to see Turner, okay? Turner's our lieutenant, so we're going to follow him at this point. And then just kind of do exactly what I do. You know, I can't promise you that you won't get shot all the time. But as you can see, I'm not even getting shot myself. So, you know, if, if this was... Uh, probably on normal or just regular we could possibly got in the uh the achievement slash trophy where you don't where you got to make it all the way to the end without getting shot but of course it's on veteran so that's never gonna happen but as you can see we're barely getting hit though so it's a pretty good sign just keep on trying um, i did die a lot of times here i was trying to figure out a way and this is what works for me so i hope that works out for you and uh a little rundown of what happens on my little walkthroughs is, is I try to, you know, take, uh, skip all the parts where the, that are non-combat, basically. So the cutscenes are all going to be out. And I try to, you know, cut the parts where we're just walking, talking, and just leave it all, all the way to the part where we, uh, we start, you know, fighting. So let me know how, how that, uh, you know, basically, if you have any complaints about that, then just let me know. Again, here, we're going to be getting shot. And then if you go to this side, this is where you're going to see about, you know, four or five enemies or so. So just stay there and just shoot them down. Um, I'm also going to be showing you a couple of the, uh, of where some of the health packs are at. So just, uh, I won't show you all of them, but most of them. All right, so moving on forward now. Basically, you know, I don't know where all of the health packs are, but I'm just going to show you the ones that I see, you know, that could probably, you know, help you out because, you know, we're, we're both playing different things, but moving on up ahead, there's one on the ground, and then Sussman is kind of laying down in cover. So there's going to be a few of them here. My tip would be to try to stick to the wall so that, you know, stick to the wall and behind some something that has cover. So what you want to do, just try to peek in and peek out every single time. Just, you know, especially with the M1 Grand, just shoot them once in the head, and then, you know, they should go down easy. Here's another one right here after you kill those, and then... If you go inside this little bunker, there is another one just in case. And then also, I am going to try to uh, do all the uh, heroic uh, actions. So just adds up on that. And then what, uh, we continue crossing under this little bridge. And then a few of them should pass again. Oh, try to pick up the grease gun. I think the grease gun is really good because it doesn't really recoil too much. And then this is kind of the example of what I was trying to say. You know, try to stick to the wall. Because, like, for example, I did not see that guy on top. But luckily, I was next to the wall and behind cover, so I was able to do it. So that was really good. Uh, I did not mention this, but you can only carry up to four med kits. Just a heads up on that. You know, whenever you have four and you're, you're missing some health, make sure you use a health and pick this thing up. Also, right here, do not charge forward, okay? I did not notice, but the red smoke is to kind of clear the bunker. So just a heads up on that. Just uh, stay back. All right, so now at this part, you know, three... Uh, enemies are going to pop out but the one that you should really worry is, is is the one that comes out after he's the one that has a sniper and that's the one that usually does damage to you right here i was searching for the third one but i couldn't see him but luckily you know when we started moving forward my teammate or my ai teammates were the ones that basically got him so at this point you know we're gonna start taking down bunkers okay there's five that we got to take down so right now here i'm just throwing random nades you know because there are some of them right there but believe it or not, what I do now is pretty funny. But actually, start crouching down and moving like that. Because if you just run or if you start walking, you're actually gonna, gonna get hit. And then once again, once uh, Sussman always has the med, a med kit, you know, just ask for it. Why not, right? Plus, it's part of, of an achievement slash trophy. So once again, we're gonna continue crouching down. Okay. I know it sounds kind of stupid. It looks stupid, but hey, it works for me and it's actually useful. Cause there's a couple enemies in here that will just 
kill you just randomly. So you want to approach right there and just start taking them down. Just because you don't see one of them doesn't mean that, that there's no more. Just always be careful. Inside this bunker, though, there are a couple in there. Like this guy, for example, just popped out of nowhere. And then this guy popped out. If this guy doesn't really pop out, then just throw a grenade in there. And that should kill him. He should be right there at, at the corner over there. And then try to go this way to get some uh, vantage point. But then, you know, just careful you don't shoot your own enemies. Uh, or uh, your own partner. Should I say. Sorry about that. And then right here there should be a couple more and that should be for the that that should be it for the first bunker and also a little heads up it will tell you once you clear okay the uh, ai will let you know and then also the objective is going to pop out so right after you uh exit that bunker this is where the first heroic pops out there are i believe two in this mission so there's this guy just kind of you know carefully shoot shoot him in the head and that should be one of them so yeah and then this is the next part where you know you're gonna start getting shot by uh a turret so what you want to do is you want to throw a couple of smoke grenades okay and then you just want to run in there at this point they can't really see you you can kind of crouch down if you like or as I did I did a dolphin dive but right here it didn't work out as I wanted to the grenade came back at me but before you move on forward you want to be careful because there's one guy waiting for you right there just a heads up on that in case if you want to throw a grenade before you even start heading over there just a heads up on that there should be another guy here like a lot of them are just gonna be hiding in here, okay? Um, I throw uh, I, I throw a grenade here in just a little bit, so to try to, like ricochet it on the wall. Obviously, this is not the best thing to do uh, right there. What I was doing because I was peeking a lot. Just throw grenades, and they'll you know eventually you'll kill some of them. And then uh, once you're done with all of them, you know just search around for some health packs and guns and ammo and all that stuff. But when you go over to this side, there should be a guy or two. And then, like, like I said, your teammate should tell you it's kind of clear. If they don't tell you anything, then just be careful. That, Like I said, I like to ricochet my grenades. And then that's pretty much all I like to do. And then just, uh, you know, just, yeah. So once again, just uh, go out in there and just start searching for anything else. So this next part is when we're going to start running through the trenches. And something that I really started noticing on the veteran mode is that enemies are just going to keep on spawning if you don't progress. So right here, instead of shooting, just kind of start going through there. Again, crouching down seems to work for me. I don't know why. But once you turn the corner, there should be at least, you know, somewhere from two to three uh, enemies. And then just, you know, just pick them off. Um... It shouldn't be uh, so it's not too bad it's just like the ones that that you don't see are the ones that kind of kill you okay so throw grenades and stuff like that you know and then always you know when you're in the corner don't go all the way out just kind of peek in and peek out like I said and then they should all hopefully just kind of spawn out and just always keep on aiming forward I guess and yeah you know pick up weapons if you're running out and then like I said continue uh, you know using the health packs and we are now going to move on forward to the next bunker which is the third one now and this one is a little bit weird it's a little hard not too bad though but here instead of going in there just try to ricochet a grenade in there once again like i said try hitting it on that little wall right there and you should take out the ones in inside this little part but now the ones that are left are the ones inside here there should be you know somewhere from two to three they're all taking cover so just heads up on that, you know, from time to time, you'll be able to see their heads. So, like I said, with the MG Grand or M1 Grand, you can actually just shoot them once in the head, and I believe they should die. But uh, just be careful, and then just try to hear out your uh, enemies, uh, sorry, your teammates, to see if they say that it's clear and stuff like that. Or if they're not shooting, then you know it's kind of clear, but don't always just trust it, though. I know it's a little weird to explain. Other than that... There should be some health packs in there in case if you are injured. Make sure you pick them up. And then at this point, you want to kind of start heading upstairs uh, towards the, the stairway. There are about two enemies up there. They won't be looking at you, so I believe you should be good. Or actually, there's only one, so that's not too bad. But it's weird how, like, even though you cleared it, it tells you, it doesn't tell you you cleared it. Because once you start heading down, that's when more enemies pop out. There are two more health packs right there. Just in case if you need some. But like I was saying how this one was weird. Is once you're heading down. Uh, a couple of them actually start coming from the beginning. Like for example this guy. I don't even know how he even got there. First of all. But yeah they're all coming from the entrance. From when you came in. So just add up on that. 
just be careful with them and just kind of stay in this little spot right there you should take them down and then right there is when it tells you that it's clear again if you took damage and you already have four med kits make sure you go pick up the other one plus there is an ammo box right there as well and now we are on our way to the fourth one all right so this next part's a little confusing because you're like okay where do i go now actually you just as soon as you exit the bunker you just want to go straight Apparently, I guess this door opens now. And then this is where the second and the last heroic action is going to pop out. As soon as you turn the corner right here to your right, there should be a guy there. Again, just try to get a good angle where you can get him good. And then there, there's always checkpoints in case if you did not get it. So just adds up on that. All right, so now in this next part, uh, there are going to be a couple of them. They're just not even going to be looking at you, okay? You want to just surprise them. If you want to throw a grenade right there, then by all means... But then the problem is the ones that are in the back, okay? Those are the ones that are just hiding, like, you know, like little scout girls in the back. And, you know, you just have to wait for them to pop out. Just be careful. I, first of all, I would recommend you just staying in this little spot right here. And uh, just careful, though, because they tend to throw grenades at you, okay? Uh, so if you can, you can also move back. Or you can try to go for the achievement slash trophy, which is you just got to throw it back at them. You, you got to do it five times. Just adds up on that. But at this point, you know, try to use your teammates. Like, for example, here's a grenade that I was talking about. But uh, try to use your teammates because um, they usually shoot at the enemy even though you can't see them sometimes. So, like, right here, they were telling me, all right, there's this guy here. So I was like, okay. So I was taking them down. Being realistic, your AI is not going to kill anyone. So just, just heads up on that. And then at this point, it seems kind of quiet, I believe. So... Everything is kind of dead at this point, or I believe there actually is one left. But after you kill this one, just kind of, you know, uh, just go over around and try to pick up uh, ammo again. Like I said, I'm going to be repetitive on that. Ammo and some health, and then that's when you know it's clear, once it tells you that it's clear. And then at this point, you know, that's when you do all that stuff. So it just adds up on that. And let's get next to the next part. All right, so once you're done, you know, searching around, you want to open this door. And then you are going to be making your way to the uh, last bunker. Just a heads up, before you turn the corner, you just want to be careful because there are a couple enemies here. There should be some on the ground and some on top of that little like rooftop right there. As you can see, I'm getting a little too close. So what you want to do is you want to kind of back down so that you don't see the ones on the ground. And then aim for these guys on top, okay? Those are the ones that are really annoying. You can crouch down or just kneel down. But take those down first because those are the ones that are really going to do damage to you. There should be like two to three. And once you take them down, then start focusing on these. Like I said, try sticking to the wall so that you can only see one by one. A lot of the times, the enemy is just going to be moving towards you. So just adds up on that. And then that should be it for this part. Again, there's a couple uh, of uh, med kits there if you need them. And then once you go in this building, okay, th this is part of the story, okay? If, if you are playing this for the first time. So right here, it's going to tell you to tap the button. Uh, I can't say it's always X or, you know, whichever button's for you. If you are playing on PlayStation. And then this is probably the hard part right here. Like, um, like it's not too bad, but it's like something that I've never seen. Like the first time I saw it, I was like, okay, what do you do? So you basically want to uh, move your uh, left thumbstick. Try to hit it like in the middle right there. Uh, it's a little weird, but yeah. But then right here, you got to tap it again. And then right here, so you, you got to move your left thumbstick. And then just, uh, I believe you press a button or something. But it's not too bad, so yeah. All right, so on, on this next part, Susman's going to tell you someone's coming in. Just, just careful you shoot him. Uh, you can miss him. It, it doesn't matter, as you saw right there. I missed like two of my shots. But the point is, get him afterwards. So at this point, he's going to tell you, you know, to drag you. Or he's going to tell you to drag him. And, you know, it's going to be a little hard at first. But trust me, you, you just want to go out through that other way. And then this is where a couple of sequences are going to start popping out, okay? So, once you make it to that barrel right there, uh, there's going to be about two guys that are going to pop out. And you're going to have to use a pistol, okay? Get the one that's kind of crouching down first. And then and then shoot the one that's closest to you. Also, rem remember, you can use health packs here, okay? So, either press down or to the right on the d-pad and you should be getting health so at this point you know you, you're gonna move him forward i think this is the part that gave me the most trouble as well so basically what you want to do first is you want to get the one that first pops out okay then get the one in the middle and then get this one right here to the left there's three of them in this part but if you do it in that order you should hopefully be fine again use your health packs if you have some 
So yeah, so I hope this thing isn't really too hard. At this point, you know, you're just going to be walking or still dragging them, and you're not really going to fight next. You know, you'll kind of get like little semi cutscenes, I guess, and that's when you're going to start fighting. So don't worry about it. Plus, you get checkpoints, so it's not too bad. Right here, they're going to throw smoke, okay? You want to go basically in order from right to middle to the left, okay? That's kind of the order that they're coming in from. So it shouldn't be too bad. Again, there's checkpoints like I mentioned a little earlier. So you shouldn't be too bad. And this is part of the cutscene as well. And then at this point, I believe we are going to drag him down. Down, you know, into one of the trenches. So you should be pretty good at this point. It's not too bad. Again, you're just kind of walking. Oh, and I did actually forgot to mention. There is a grenade here. So just throw it back. I don't know if this one counts for the, uh, the achievement slash trophy. But, uh, you know, whatever. It Plus, they're not too hard. So right here, about three enemies are going to pop out down here to, uh, oh, actually, no. So there's two, actually. I thought it was three. And then once you go down, then three should pop down right here. Again, try to go in the order. Like I said, go from right, middle, and left. And then that should really if that should be it for this small section right here. At this point, you don't have to use a pistol anymore and just go upstairs. It, it's all cutscenes, basically. All right, so this is after the whole cutscene with Sussman, you know, where he got shanked and all that. Make sure you, uh, also Turner gives you uh, the uh, ammo, so make sure you pick it up. It's also an achievement slash trophy. Then at this part, you know, you're going to be getting shot by a turret. So what I like doing is I just like running straight out, and then I like dolphin diving. Uh, sometimes, you know, it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But then you want to actually head over to the right, and we're actually going to ignore all those people fighting, okay? Trust me. Basically, once you go over to this bush, there should be someone right here kind of by the entrance, okay? Again, we're ignoring all the ones to the left, and then we're going to go upstairs from this point. There's a med, pack, uh, med kit right there. And then there should be three uh, enemies up here. Uh, two of them should actually be shooting at you, and then one doesn't even care about you. Because he's the one with the, with the machine gun. Also, I would recommend not going on the machine gun, because they can kill you really fast, okay? Just start throwing a couple grenades. And then they're all going to start moving to the right, okay? So just be careful right here. Uh, be on this window because they can't really shoot you too much. And then that should be, really be it. Even though right here it tells you to go on the MG, try not to really go on it because you're kind of vulnerable at this spot. Uh, unless they're just a little bit, then by all means. But then a bunch of them start coming in. And then that's when they start shooting the hell out of you. So I would recommend not trying to be there as much as possible. Just throw a couple grenades, and then you are going to be getting hit a lot. So just add up on that. And then also a little heads up. This is kind of where you should get a checkpoint, hopefully, uh, when you when the other ones start coming in. Um, throw smoke grenades, okay? Because to be honest, this is more of a, of a time sequence, I guess we can call it, where they tell you to d defend, but really, you just got to survive. So even if you don't really kill all of them, you know, the tanks are going to start coming and rolling in. So... My recommendation is just to smoke, you know, right there in front of you so that they don't shoot you. And then just kind of pick off the ones that you can see through this window. Because if you go close to that MG, they're going to shoot you. So, again, you don't have to kill all of them. This is just, uh, you're just waiting for the tanks to roll in. And then that should be it. Uh, just wait for like a minute or two. And then it should be kind of over. Uh, they'll let you know that the tanks are here. So, you know, just add up that you don't have to kill everything because there are a lot of enemies. So... Like right there, that's where Pearson says, here here they come. And then after that, just kind of wait for the tanks to kind of take over before you jump down. And you are going to jump down kind of more to the left. Uh, there is an art artillery gun or an AA gun as they call it. And then you just got to go up to it and you got to, you know, hold X and you're going to put some thermite in there. Nothing too bad again. Just kind of showing you that they are running away. You don't have to kill them. I, I mean, I did kill a few of them, so just a heads up on that. And then this is the part where, you, where we jump down, like I mentioned earlier. And then, yeah. So, uh, you know, let me know if, uh, if if I should improve on anything. Let me know down in the section below if I'm either going too fast, if I'm not showing too much, or if I'm showing a lot. Again, you know, I only get better by, you know, being criticized. So just let me know if anything is helpful. Really appreciate it. And... If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Make sure you check out my other channels if you found this one helpful. And like always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.